Hey everybody, this is the last of the GameCube. Welcome back to more Sonic Colors in the last episode. We started the Aquarium Park, my favorite area of the game. And in this episode, we're going to be finishing it up. So anyways... And... Oh yeah! Oh yeah, I remember this. This is one of those levels. Anyways, there was nothing over there. Just an invisible wall. It's one of those levels. I'm not going to get into what I mean by one of those levels until like... After we get to a relevant point here. I'm gonna be quiet here because I need to concentrate here. Okay. Yeah, this is one of those levels. Somebody shooting bullets at you for off screen, and you just want to punch their lights out. You want to go out there and punch your lights out like the mean person that they are. Yeah. It's more relevant in New Super Mario Bros. DS, even though there's only one mission where that happens. Aha! First stage where I got all the red rings. Your best sp safe spot is right here. And. Come on, hurry up. <gasps> Goal Ring! How did you betray me like this? Yeah, it was the Goal Ring that did that to us. Please, come on. Hey, rank. Not quite a rank. Whatever. Oh, 79,000 points? Huh. Further away from an S rank than I thought I was. I think I got all the red rings in this stage. Oh, whatever. The first time I did that in f on the first attempt as well, in fact, which is kind of funny. I remember that stage being one of the more difficult ones to get every single red ring in. So, we're here. Then again, the next world is the first world that I got every single red ring in. Come on, I want to go up there. Oh, an invisible wall? You're kidding me. And, oh yeah, this stage. This is the stage I was thinking of. It's one of those stages where I have fish that acts as a shield. Unlike Mario 64 and Call of Duty. Or at least that's what I think somebody... Well, somebody told me that there are fish that do absolutely nothing in Call of Duty, but they call it an AI thing anyway. Or that's what I, that's what I heard. I heard it from CJ. I, th I think I heard it from CJ. CJ, yeah, that is one of my eight. The son of my dad's friends from the Peace Corps. Or co-workers from the Peace Corps, rather. I thought I was in an earlier stage, but apparently I was wrong. At where am I going? I don't remember where I'm going. Yeah, you have to get bubbles here. No, you have to drown in here. Of course you have to get bubbles to stay alive. But you can actually swim in this kind of stage. Unlike other Sonic stages. Anyways, I'm just going to go up there manually. I don't... Eh. There's nothing there. It's one hit. Yeah, you can only survive one hit on this. I think. Yes, you can. Anyways, if you start running out of air, then a certain song plays. Uh, I don't know. It's technically. Uh, wait, what's over there? I don't 
think I've seen this before. Probably have, but I bet I don't. What? I don't remember this. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. This is where Emil started failing. Anyways, oh, I love this water. I'm always a fa I've always been a fan of, like, Japanese watercolors, especially in the video games. There are a lot of people that love Japanese watercolors in video games, and I am no exception to that. Especially in Okami and Sonic 06. Sonic 06 is one of the few instances in a third-party video game. Or, that third-party... It's not even on the Wii! What the hell am I talking about? He's over here. Hey guys, I'm gonna kill you at the slow speed of two miles an hour. The most. What the heck? What the. What? What? How did I ground pound? What? In there. What? Yeah, I was so. I'm sorry about being totally speechless right there. I seriously had no idea what the hell that happened right there. Anyways, anyways, yeah, I'm always a big fan of Japanese watercolors where you can see the bottom of the water, especially in games like Okami and Sonic 06. Oh, I love. I love the watercolor in Sonic 06. Anyways, hey, buddies. Normally you'd get a slam from that, but I don't know what happened. Wait, uh, what? I was trying to get the checkpoint. How did I boost? Why did the alien? Why did the whisk come up? I'm probably gonna get a D rank on here, cause that last jump was my fault. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna screw this up. Anyways, hey buddies, I'm gonna kill you at the slow speed of two miles an hour. The most exciting slam in the world! And how do I still have it? Yes, I got the checkpoint. Oh, whew! The second there, I thought I was gonna get kill myself right over there. Hmm. Exactly the opposite of how I'm doing it. And, what the, what, how did that happen, <laughs> what, anyways, here's a mechanic that has been earlier Sonic games, but is somehow making its debut in this one, actually, I don't even think it's debut, it's a mechanic where you have to wait for it to kill every single enemy in gear before moving on, honestly, I think that worked better in Sonic Unleashed than it did in this game, and, excuse me, that water spout can easily get in your way, Oh, come on! What? There we go. It's killing him by jumping right on top of him. Here's another area of those fish. I'm definitely gonna get a Yeah, you can infinitely double. You can infinitely double jump in here. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, you know, what are you guys up to? Oh, drill! Woo! I'm relieved. I'm going to hopefully get these rings to make up for that. Oh, nice! You have infinite drills in there. Hmm. Oh, there's. The Why is the gold ring all the way over there? B rank. C rank? If I actually got a B rank on there, that would have shocked me a lot. I'm surprised I actually still got C rank on that one. I died a lot in this one. I don't remember dying so much in this stage. Then again, it's probably the Let's Play Curse at Wars once again. Oh. Hello! 
So here we have the boss of this state, or boss of this area, not this stage. <laughs> Whatever. Man, running past all those fish put me in the mood for sushi. I doubt Eggman had the decency to put a good sushi joint in this park. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, try the newest dining experience here at Eggman's incredible interstellar amusement park, the Bucket of Sushi. Now with fish. Ugh, like I was saying. Hey, did somebody here order a clobbering? Are you sure? It says somebody ordered an extra large clobbering topped with everything. Hmm, okay. Tell you what, I can't take this thing back, so I'll give you an extra large clobbering for nothing. Hope you're hungry. And if he's not there in 10 minutes or less, then he'll probably sell out for you. It's Sonic, so you don't know if he'll be there in 10 minutes or less. Well, probably at least in the days of classic Sonic. Anyways, this is basically like the boss fight, the the sweet, sweet map. Only this one is slightly more difficult. Because you have to deal with the water physics here. And hopefully get this over here. Oh, nice, I automatically get a drill. I didn't think I'd automatically get the drill already. Is, yeah, you're going to need, obviously going to need the drill, otherwise you won't see a chance here. This guy is pretty fast in the aquarium park. Buddy, get back here. Oh, oh I just missed. Come on. There we go. What the? How did I get? Did I get any error? No. Cause yeah, you have to do this whole thing again. So yeah, I'm not gonna let that music get in my way. There we go. Boom! And we get some extra air. Wow, he's moving fast. Whoa, just missed him. Come on, hurry up. Yes! <laughs> How did I get air from absolutely nothing? Boom. There we go. rank. S rank already? Nice! I thought it took a little longer than I thought. Anyways, whatever. Oh, dang it! Of course I couldn't even get the one up. Can that make you have, let me live a small victory? He's not gonna have to deal with these stupid water physics again. Whew! In the bathroom. Okay, whatever. Anyways, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be stealing jokes again, especially after Emil made that that very moment. Anyway, still. Anyways, here we're gonna be. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna be starting this area, the asteroid coaster. See you guys then.